us here. We've been invited to Tankfest 2023. We've attended a couple of these in the past, but we're really excited to go there and we're taking three of our vehicles. One will be our AMX 13105, and this short video is us servicing that and getting it ready for transport. The other vehicle will be the Panard AML 90. And there will be our new piece of armour that will be arriving in the UK in the next couple of months. So watch out for a video on that. So exactly what are we going to do with this today? We're going to get the tank out, we're going to check all the levels, and we think it's time for an oil change. So let's get it out of the tank shed, across into the workshop, and we'll go from there. Just noticed as I'm climbing into the tank, they were actually missing a track pad. You can see these are simply pieces of rubber that are bolted to each one of these links in the tracks to enable us to drive on the road. As soon as you see a track pad missing, we call for this, Tipex. You can use chalk, but what we're going to do is before we move it, we're going to mark which link in the track is missing the pad so we can change it and put a new one on when we're inside the workshop. X marks the spot. So we're going to jump in and see if we can get it to crank. Okay, so you won't hear me in the next couple of seconds because we're going to turn it over and off we go. So here we are, it's in neutral, let's start. because the noise of the engine in the background. So we're just warming the engine up now to get all that oil nice and thinned out for when we drop it out the bottom of the engine. To be able to access the engine on this tank, we have to move the gun. If you come over here, at the back over there, you'll see the fan. The fan's on a hinged unit that opens upwards and it collides with the gun. So what we have to do, we're gonna pop into the turret move the gun over and so therefore we can access the top of the engine. The first thing that we need to do to move the gun on this is drop what is known as the crutch. The crutch is used to hold this barrel in place during movement. It's such a heavy barrel that it can start to bounce up and down which can create havoc with the hydraulics inside of the turret. So for travel this is usually in place so we're just going to take this off. The first thing we need to do is to undo the attachment. It spins off and then the top of the clamp falls over. The gun is now free. So I'm going to go up, get into the turret and we're going to fire up the hydraulics. Again, you probably won't hear what I'm saying so I have to dub this bit over as the hydraulics are quite noisy as well. And we're going to lift this gun up and we're going to swivel it over out of the way. Let's go up now. So we're on 
top of the tank. We're going to get down in here, which is, well, the commander's position's over there. This is what you would describe as the gunner. So let's look down. It's quite a tight fit. What we've got here is the breech of the gun. Down at the bottom are the hydraulics. And over here, you'll see this is the controller to control the turret. Very simple, well, very similar to what you might get on a Sony PlayStation. This AMX-13 has been upgraded. The engine, which was originally a petrol SOFAM, has been removed and a Detroit diesel has been put in its place. So we're going to have a look at, under the covers, what that Detroit diesel looks like now that it's sandwiched inside of such a small tank. To access the front of the engine, we need to open up these front inspection doors. They are quite heavy. Let's have a look inside the engine bay. What we have is the Detroit diesel. So this is a V6 two-stroke engine. This is the silver model, so it's producing roughly around 350, possibly up to 400 horsepower. What are we looking at here? This is the turbo, and they've got this lagging on it to help distribute the heat. This is the exhaust, and over here is the air intake. These here are recycling the hot exhaust gases to turn the turbo. And the engine, as you can see, is sandwiched back in here. Down at the front, you'll see additional hydraulic pipes. And here we have some of our dipsticks that we'll be going through, checking the levels in the next few minutes.
your feet if you're still alive. What? Oh, that's all right. We're just checking. What are you doing? Having a lay down? Yeah. Sleeping on the job, mate. And what exactly are you doing, Ollie? I'm trying to remove this uh, base plate so that we can get underneath the engine. Too bad. There we go, it's nearly done. A couple more turns. Fucking aching. Will? Yeah. That's it, take him out. There you go. Mmm, grimy. Welcome to the Farg Motor Pool. Today, we're changing the engine oil in the AMX 13. I'm now going to undo what I believe is the sump plug because I haven't been under here for quite a while. It's hot, there's lots of it, and let's see where it goes. Hot and it smells of diesel. Now all I've got to do is keep my eye on the fact that this container doesn't overflow. in the coolant system so you must be careful when you're removing any of the filler caps. Common sense really. This engine's been cooling as we've been changing the oil and the fact that now I've started to open the filler cap and it's starting to blow air. You hear that? That means that we don't have a leak anywhere in the coolant system because otherwise we wouldn't have that pressure building up. One of the things we need to do for maintenance on the tank is make sure everything is greased. There's a lot of resistance if you think about it with the track and the wheels moving around so therefore we want to make it as easy as possible. What we're going to do now is one of the well, worst jobs really and that is to grease the bearings. So this is the road wheel in the centre of it is the bearing and there's actually a grease nipple there, we've done that one. We'll move back. So here we go, good old grease gun, probably uh, World War II vintage possibly. Poke the end of the grease gun onto the nipple, so this is where the bearing is. And then we're going to give sort of four or five pushes there. We do this every year, so I don't need to fill that up completely, but I'm just topping it up with some fresh uh, grease. Again, we're going to do the return rollers as well. And the most important out of the lot is the rear idler. We need to make sure that we've got a good packing of grease in there. A fair amount of resistance there, which is excellent news. As I said, just enough, enough there to top it up. Now we're going to do the other side. So the rear idler is used to tension the track on the AMX. There's two major controls here. One is this large locking nut and one is the actual winding mechanism. Yes, we're greasing again, so we need to go on each of these nipples. Make sure we've got a fair amount of grease inside. Only about two or three. It's obviously uh, I think some resistance there. That's great. We'll clean this grease off the nipples afterwards because they don't want it going everywhere. Again, we've got another one there. And this is filling up the mechanism inside. we finish servicing the AMX it's time for a quick scrub getting it ready for the show season once we've completed this we will load onto the transport and off to Tankfest 2023 thanks for joining us and we'll see you in our next program